or or uh, and which is why he mains so many or he plays so many different characters is because he's always looking for a matchup in which he feels the most comfortable or that like he's the strongest. Always searching for what's favorable, indeed. Uh, so I'm, as always, curious to see which character he will start with. And it looks like he's hovering over Mad Knight at, at this point. And it does seem that he will be playing Meta Knight. It is going to be the MK to begin this. As we move to Town and City for game one. Playing edgy Meta Knight, too. I mean, is there a non-edgy Meta Knight? Let's be real here. The one that's rainbow colored. Fair. <laughs> anyway. Shutan doing what uh, Olimar does. Throwing this Pikmin. Um, Shutan's management of Pikmin is just so good. He always seems to have the Pikmin he wants at any moment in time. Uh oh. Air dodges. Oh, wow. Oh, nearly caught him with the second hit of the shuttle loop. Yeah, great edge guards coming out from from Ava, but uh, Shutan, very clever in the way he's able to get back. Uh, he takes damage, but he's able to survive, which is what's important. Purple Pikmin, that's not actually nearly doing it across the stage for Shutan. Oh. Olive still hanging on. Yeah, nobody can take more than a stock than your stock in this game. That's something you should always remember. Dimensional Cape, though, to reverse the situation, and Shutan is going to be taken off the top. Abadango with a supreme mix-up there to take game one's first stock, but Shutan answers back. That was a, a trust nobody, not even yourself kind of thing right there. You just appeared right behind him and blasted him, but Shutan fired back super quick. And it's almost like I, I almost just forgot about the Abba taking that first stock because Shutan has already been able to put on so much damage already. And that Whistle Armor getting him out of that combo right there. About time the Dimensional Cape just to retreat himself. Shutan actually jumping, so unable to punish with a grab, but still very much in this game. Uses the opportunity to get his preferred Pikmin lineup. Yeah, as we said, always didn't have the Pikmin he needed. He needs. That roll in is going to be the start of a ladder and goes deep. Oh. Oh, no. Haba is just so threatening off stage and so aggressive. Uh, you know, Shutan or at least Olimar not having any hitboxes when he's in that state right there uh, allows Haba to be aggressive. But he's giving up a lot of positional control if he doesn't uh, manage to get anything off stage. I feel like that sort of sends a message, too, that he's willing to go for some of these shuttle loops in a position where he might risk his own stock, but what does that say against, you know, the amount of times and the amount of attention he's putting in the hunting yours down? Yeah. If, if you're Shutan, you're thinking, I don't really want to be out off stage. Uh, and, uh... Oh. Yeah. So much ending lag to contend with on the Tornado, and that's going to be an easy F match for Shutan to begin a two-star. Yeah, I mean, that really came down to the aggression off stage there. Abadango just biting off a little too much with that uh, neutral B. Just, he went for a gamble there. He was down, and I respect it, but it, it cost him that that game. I mean, he is, he is a player, and Meta Knight is a character that just screams aggression at all times. And, Abba plays this game according to his liking. Mm -hmm. uh, I like sticking it out with Meta Knight here. I feel like the game just got a little out of Abba's control. Uh, so sticking it out with Meta Knight here is a good choice. Down throw into fair though from Shutan. Continuing to put on percent over 56 onto Abadango and counting yet to take any damage himself. Drag down. <laughs> just stuffs him out with that purple Pikmin. A lot of Meta Knight's multi-hit aerials are pretty good for dealing with some of these Pikmin, but you need to put yourself in an opportunity to use those aerials safely without getting punished by Shutan with another move. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, with the Pikmin, you can always get your hurt, a hitbox extended, 
which is usually not a good thing because uh, Olimar can just come in there with another hitbox and you're in lag longer. I mean, functionally. Uh, it, it's just, you have to be very careful about where you place your hitboxes when you're playing against Olimar. Uh, the grab range in. Interesting to note, Shuton does have a blue Pikmin that Abadanko just got rid of. The grab kill, the up throw is going to be less of an option now. Well, he's got time to find another one if he needs one. And at the percent, Abba's at... There oh, we go, he, gets he pulled another one wow. just in time for the up throw. Yeah, that's another thing I see Abba do a lot is he's just able to get that blue Pikmin out super fast so he catches his opponent off guard. He knows the rotation of his Pikmin, so he's always prepared to have that and just surprise his opponent like that. And through the platform, the dimensional kick to take back center stage, but that's going to be easily recognized by Shutone. I mean, because, like, what's the one thing you're looking for when you're playing against uh, Olimar and you're at a high percent? Okay, does he have any blue, blue Pikmin? When is it coming up? Mm -hmm. A little sleight of hand there from Shutone. Okay, we see another blue Pikmin. And with all this rage, up throw might kill, forward throw will kill if it's at the ledge. Attack. Okay. Finally, Abba managed to get a stock off stage. He's been able to get the percent before, but he hasn't been able to get a kill like until now. Also an edge guard from Abba, but all for naught. Shuton finds the kill moments after. Okay, dash attack. He's gonna get a grab here. Okay, this pressure off stage is great from Abba. He needs to make more of it though since he, to catch up for this deficit. And they're gonna slice through some of the pigment, but into the up smash back air. Yeah, two purples and a white here. Pretty scary combination. Oh boy, Abba getting that parry. And now Shuton's gonna land here. So he's not gonna be able to. Oh, excellent up air ladder into the shuttle loop. And if you blinked, you might have missed it. This game is pretty much even. Yeah, I give the edge to Shuton definitely at this point, but I think Abba just needs a good sequence off stage here, or you know maybe a, a juggle, and this could be right back to even. Yeah, if you thought Abba was being aggressive beforehand, look at what he's doing now. Yeah, he's doing a great job of comboing around this whistle armor. Able to wait out the Nair, so Shuton still maintaining ledge control. Misses with the dimensional cape. Well, yeah, he didn't. I don't think he threw out the hitbox there. He was just trying to get out of that spot. Ooh. That down smash just hits below the ledge, hits everywhere in the nearest city block. 